you ever find yourself really just stuck in a state of anxiety, of overwhelm, and your mind is ruminating over and over? Why is this happening? This shouldn't be happening. There's something wrong with me for because this is happening. Something wrong out there that's going. I'm losing it. Ah! Well, if you are experiencing that, I have a wonderful thing for you to know. Welcome to being human. There's absolutely nothing inherently wrong with you if you're in the grips of something like this, okay? One of the biggest misconceptions we have as humans in the modern world, okay, in today's world is our emotions should not be happening or there is something wrong with me because this emotion is happening. We need to smash this silliness to pieces because all it does is make things worse. My name is Mike, I am a psychotherapist. I am someone in long-term recovery from addiction and mental illness. I am a meditation teacher and I'm just a human being trying to make my way through the world. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you, maybe that's not the right way to say it, I'm going to share with you the number one most important tool, skill, reminder you need on how to deal with anxiety. Okay, what is this magical tip? The number one thing is, it's not rocket science, but oh wow, do we need this reminder. When we are anxious, when we're caught up in this storm, we need to stop fighting it. Stop fighting, surrender, acceptance, whatever word you need to use to help you in that moment, okay? When you're overwhelmed with anxiety, notice how you get into this storm of this shouldn't be happening, what's going to happen, oh my god, I can't handle this, This all these things are going to go wrong. Okay, there's lots of wonderful, more specific skills that you can develop, but the first thing we must learn is to just accept the fact that what is happening is happening. How do you do that? So the first thing we could do is simply say, wow, this is a moment of anxiety. <sighs> there is a wonderful equation for anxiety. Worrying about a future event, overestimating the negative outcome or consequences of said future event, and underestimating your ability to cope, okay? You are a human being. You have the inherent capacity to deal with these things. We are incredibly resilient. And when our minds get in the way, we often lose our resilience. And at the same time, we can use our minds to help increase our resilience. Allowing, accepting, stop fighting, okay? We need to surrender. Anxiety is here. It's here. So one of my wonderful teachers always says, this too belongs. The first step, the first skill we are learning is to just acknowledge and accept that we are anxious. <sighs> There's another popular saying in modern psychology called name it to tame it. So you can simply just say to yourself, this is a moment of anxiety. I am experiencing anxiety. And in this naming, we're not just saying it. These aren't just words in our head. We're tuning into our bodies and actually feeling the anxiety. You might say, oh, I'm feeling it. I'm so anxious. I'm so anxious. But really, you're actually resisting. That's resistance. Resistance is not ease. Right? Are you tense? Are you contracted? Or is there space? Is there ease in your experience in this moment? So that really is the number one way to actually tune in and tell if you're accepting your anxiety or if you're fighting it in your mind. This is also a practice in some sense of learning to be present. Can you be present with the anxiety as opposed to being lost in some future that hasn't happened, that won't happen, or that may not happen, but that really in this present moment is a figment of your imagination. So tuning into the present, name it to tame it, 
another nice saying is feel it to heal it. So we're naming the fact that we're anxious and we're allowing our body to feel the anxiety. Okay, so we need to stop fighting. We need to accept that it is happening. And in that acceptance, the freedom arises. Now, the next tip, a little bonus tip here is, what's one thing you can do in this moment? Often a great antidote to anxiety is action. So can you take one action in this moment of acceptance and surrender that can help alleviate your tense, tense, I don't know, intensity, anxiety. So one of those things could simply just be to breathe. Can you just breathe? <sighs> can you go for a walk? Can you journal? Can you have a shower? Can you have a glass of water? Take an action, okay? First step, acceptance. Stop fighting, surrender, allow, name it to tame it, feel it to heal it. And then ask yourself, what is one thing that I can do in this moment? One little thing that will have huge implications for long-term emotional relief okay, and helping you calm down, okay? Hope you found that helpful. Please share this with somebody else who you think it might be helpful for. Please comment on this video, like it, subscribe to this channel, please, I would love that. And uh, send an email, contact us if you have any questions or if there's a video uh, you would like me to do. Okay, take care. Peace out.